Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Zach Cox, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about the brand new GTA 5 online update, the Executives and Other Criminals DLC that's going to be coming next week on Tuesday, December 15th. And boy, oh boy, this is going to be one of the biggest, and if not the biggest, update within GTA 5 online that we've ever gotten. This is bigger than Heists, and Heist was a very uh, hyped up and anticipated DLC within the community, and this far surpasses that. I would actually go out on a limb and say, and just almost guarantee. Now, this is probably going to be the most expensive update we've ever gotten due to the fact that we are not only going to be able to customize our own apartments finally, but we're also going to have the option to buy mansions in Vinewood Hills, as well as purchase a super luxury yacht. And I don't even want to know what the price on this thing is going to be. It's most likely going to be in the 10 to 20 million dollar range, probably closer to 20 million, which is mind blowing and crazy. But we're also going to be getting some really cool things besides this apartment customization, the yacht. We're also going to be getting, of course, new weapons, new vehicles, but also we're going to be able to head our own crime organizations within the game and this is going to be really cool and I just want to talk about this for a moment and kind of elaborate on it so basically what I've gathered is that we're going to be able to start and head our own crime organizations much like the uh, the mafia pretty much that's what it's going to be like and our bodyguards we can have bodyguards our friends can be doing this for us we can recruit people and these people will actually earn a certain percentage of wage uh, from the crime organization and their own RP so that's gonna be really cool if you just want to be a bodyguard you don't want to head a crime organization or anything like that if you're not up for that task so that's gonna be very very awesome a very cool fun way to rank up opposed to just doing repetitive boring heist missions or going and robbing convenience stores which get you little to no money because the GTA online market is so freaking expensive but on the topic of apartment customization this is really cool so we of course have the official trailer for this DLC which you guys can find link down below in the description below my Twitter and my Instagram I always update you guys first on there so be sure and follow me if you haven't done so yet but we've got some really cool shots of the apartment customization within Grand Theft Auto online and what it's gonna be like and there's no telling exactly what and how this is going to work. We might have to pay a certain wage or amount of money to have to go and get an apartment that's able to be upgraded. I'm sure that's how it's going to work, so that's going to be different. But as far as the apartment customization goes, it's really cool. We've gotten some cool shots from this trailer, as I mentioned before. And one of them actually gives me a Saints Row 2 vibe in that game. If you guys ever played it, of course, you know you get to customize your own apartments and give it different themes, decors, and all that good stuff. And that's really cool. It's something that I've made multiple videos about in the past, just hoping that one day we are going to be able to customize our apartments within Grand Theft Auto 5, as well as we're going to be able to purchase a super luxury yacht, and we can live on this thing. And that's going to be cool. It's going to be crazy. Like I said before, it's probably going to be the most expensive thing to ever come to Grand Theft Auto Online, but it's going to be well worth the money, I'd go ahead and say. And also, we're going to be able to finally purchase what we call mansions up in the Vinewood Hills. And once again, we can customize these, I believe, to our liking. And we can just have a good time up here in these mansions. And it looks like they actually have their own different interiors. They're not just like the other houses within Grand Theft Auto 5 that we can purchase, say, out in Polito Bay. Or I believe there's one in Vinewood Hills right now, but they all have the same interior. There's nothing new about them, so that's going to be cool. We're going to be able to get updated interiors, new vehicles, weapons, and all that good stuff. So if you guys are excited for this DLC, definitely do me a favor and drop a like rating down below. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be covering this content and this DLC exclusively on my channel. And with that said now the way, I believe that's just about it. You guys, I'll take it easy, have a safe one, and I will see you all in the next video.